Okay, so we're going to show you how to create some uh, great looking WordPress sales page themes using our package. So what we need to do is download them from our download page and then upload them using any FTP program like Qt FTP into the WordPress themes directory on your website. So just pick them from your desktop and then upload them to the themes directory. And then we log into the WordPress control panel, the admin of your WordPress, and click on appearance on the left hand side there. And then choose a the theme that you want to use from the themes you've uploaded. And just go down to the uh, pick the theme you want, and then click on the activate button to activate it. I then want to create a page or a post. What I would do is create a page by clicking on the page on the left hand side there and then add new. And then call the page either home or index or something like that. We'll call this one index. And then of course we need to start running our sales letter. Now everything is controlled by the uh, kitchen sink on the top so you choose a h1 header which is your main headline for your sales page and then the subheading and then so on and so forth and you just create a sales page like you would normally put everything there bullet points testimonial boxes everything else and then the top there look you can see you choose between h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 h6 heading so the top one would be h1 heading one that would be your main heading. Underneath that is your subheadline and bullet lists as well. You just choose unordered list from the editor box there. Click on that. That becomes your bullet list. Unordered, unordered list as it is in WordPress uh, editor. And you've got the quotes there, which is a block quote button. Click on that. That becomes a quote testimonial box. And it's just basically going through your sales letter and picking out the things that you want to put in and formatting it, which doesn't take very long. If you've already got a sales letter, it should be a five, ten minute job at least. And we've also got a signature box as well. And that's heading five. So if you click on that, it's it lines in the center, so you need to go up there and choose a line left for your signature and that will format it and stick it right to the left hand side then it'll look like a signature. So let's have a look at that now. There we go, H1 header for your main headline, H2 header for your sub headline, your signatures, your bullet lists, your testimonial boxes and then of course you can also add pictures of your ebook or your software box or whatever as you would do with any normal uh, page or post inside WordPress. And also you need to go into uh, settings if you chose to create a, a page called index or home. Go into your settings part on the left hand side there, click that link. And then the writing part. And then you've got your latest post there, front page displays, or a static page. So you need to click on static page and then choose the page that you created your sales page on, which is on our case index or on mine that's home. So we choose that and then click on save settings. And you'll have yourself a nice looking WordPress sales page theme in no time at all.